Hey guys, welcome back to G Made CNC. Uh, I know it's been a while since I put out a video. Uh, work's been crazy. Um, just recently got this in. It's the smart coolant system from Toromach. And uh, it's going to replace all this. Um, which, I mean, it's done its job, but it's just dirty as hell. Um, I'm constantly going through paper towels like crazy. Uh, every time you come in and put a different tool, you gotta adjust it, and everything's just covered in coolant. And then you go grab the the mouse, and you got coolant all over the mouse. So, uh, and I also recently just got Pathpilot. Um, loving it. It's a little bit to get used to from using. Um, you know, Mach 3 for four years. So, uh, I'll get you set up on a tripod and uh, we'll start breaking this down and figuring out how we're uh, gonna get this installed and uh, we'll go through the whole setup in Pathpilot. All right, the, uh, went through the instructions real quick. Um, as you can see, very, very easy to follow. Um, it's as simple as uh, bolting up this bracket to the uh, solenoid here. And then as far as the uh, communication board, you just plug in the USB, your power, and then your communication wire from the solenoid to the controller. Then from the controller, you just plug it into any one of your USB ports in the computer. Um, then they have this adapter which, that threads right into your coolant line. And then we'll mount on the back side of this to feed the coolant. So uh, we'll get this bolted up real quick and then um, get it over to the machine and start routing this uh, main wire. Okay. I'm not going to wrap them down too tight right now because um, we're going to have to adjust it after it's up there. So just make it snug enough so it doesn't move around on you. Okay. And then um, this bracket will now get bolted to the bottom side of the uh, spindle. So we'll get this over there and uh, we'll get it bolted in. All right, so this is gonna get, let's get this out of the way. This will get bolted up underneath here, but first we gotta get rid of this section here. So I'll get this all torn down and we'll get uh, this bolted up. Now I had modded this a while ago and uh, took this from the side and mounted it under the, the bottom here. So I already have holes drilled uh, there, but the instructions will walk you through where to drill the holes and get it uh, set up. Alright, so, we have the bracket, there's two existing holes on the bottom here, 
um, that these uh, screws bolt into. Um, I'm just going to quickly light tap them to clean out any debris, you know, from four years worth of work. I'm sure there's plenty of crap stuck up in there. There's quite a bit of crap stuck in there. I had to bang out whatever is in there with the uh, the Allen key. So we got those clear now. All right, we're not gonna snug these up uh, real tight right now because uh, we still have to slightly adjust it to line it up with the tool um, after we get it all hooked up so it's a lot cleaner than uh, yeah, this contraption <laughs> and um, just constant fluid always dripping out and like I said it was always every time you grab them adjust them your hands were covered in coolant um, keyboard mouse everything so, and every once in a while I would catch them clamp and move and I'm not paying attention to it. It's shooting coolant everywhere. So, uh, next we'll um, take this manifold off that I made. All right, and then we'll get the new hose. Um, I may leave this 90 in here for mine. So it comes upright instead of straight out. Um, kind of see once I get it apart how the configuration sets up. And then uh, we'll get this hooked up and then we will uh, run the cable. Let me get that broken apart. And we'll come back to this. All right, I got it. Uh, all apart. I opted not to go with uh, the 90 um, due to, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, just a restriction of the hole and then into a 90. Um, so I was about to install this piece and I'm looking inside I don't know if you can see that, but it's got an Allen key um, inside, I guess to tighten it, but we can tighten it up from out here. So it's quite a bit of a restriction. So what I'm going to do is drill that out, make the diameter a little bit bigger, and then we'll get this screwed on here. All right, got that drilled out. It was fairly easy. This is just brass, so as you can see now, oh, it's all open. I used a, uh, what is it, 2160 forts. I don't know if you can see that. Drill bit. Um, fits in there pretty good. It's got a little bit of play, which is fine. Um, as you drill it, just... Uh, Drill a little bit, pull it out, keep checking it. Um, there's little tabs in here that catch the uh, vinyl tubing. You don't want to drill through and, uh, you know, catch them because the drill bit's, you know, wobbling or whatever. So just as it gets to the end, just go very slow. But other than that, yeah, drilled fine. So... Oh, definitely more volume of uh, coolant. So now we'll get this attached and I'll get it back up there and work on the cable.
Alright, got the uh, wire run. Uh, there's a little notch here. Uh, you guys can see that. Um, yeah, I just squeezed the wire and just stuck it in there so couldn't get caught on anything. Um, and then from underneath, I just zip tied them. to these existing holes in the bracket and uh, this doesn't come with it with the kit it comes with the uh, and one of these and the zip ties I just opted to use one of these I had it kicking around the box so and from here it goes up inside here lower the machine runs up through here I just tucked it on the, the side there and then up through the cable chain there and then out the uh, back side of the unit or the cabinet there so next we'll uh, put the control box just got magnets on the back and that will sit on the opposite side of that so on the back side of the machine and we'll just plug it in to here give it some power and then find an open USB so let me uh, climb in back there we'll get that hooked up alright got everything hooked up underneath um, Everything's working, so uh, over here we got tool zero. Um, by default, this is set to automatically be at your zero, whatever your part is. So they'll just keep moving as it's coming down, and it'll be shooting coolant at your zero. So I want it to shoot at the tool. So we have to go in your MDI, and it's going to be M. 07 P 0 okay so now what's going to happen is uh, we'll put uh, tool 47 let's say I'll hit return and it adjusts um, let's say tool 1 adjust okay so uh, I'm gonna get you on the tripod and we'll get this uh, put a tool in there all right we got everything uh, locked down so uh, 246 shut the cooling off uh, grab a uh, tool for All right, guys. Uh, the whole system's in. Um, it was fairly simple. It took a lot longer making the video. I probably could have done this in uh, uh, about 15 minutes. Had this whole thing installed. Uh, super easy. Um, 
And PathPilot is pretty much configured for, at least the controller is configured to work with PathPilot to uh, just run off your uh, tool offsets. Um, there are a few other options, um, as a wiggler mode, uh, air blast, stuff like that. Um, which uh, I'm not really getting into because I'm not really using any of it, just the, uh, the tip offset. Um, but in the back of the manual that you get, it explains everything and what codes to, uh, to input in your uh, MDI. And it's that simple. So I uh, just want to throw this together for any of you guys that might have been interested in getting one and wasn't too sure what it was about. But uh, I hope it was helpful. All right, guys. Take care. See you next time.